Hey, Ray Del Vecchio here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com and I want to make this really quick video going through how to clear your cache with a Divi website. This isn't a problem that's specific to Divi. It can happen with any theme, but I recently had an issue and I jumped on a support chat with them and then I boiled down the steps that we went through to clear this issue. I was familiar with many of them, but one of them fixed it for me. So let's just quickly go through them. Number one is go to the Divi Theme Options Builder tab and click on the clear button. So I got the theme options over here. Let's click on the Builder tab and you got to go into the Advanced section and you find this option Static CSS File Generation. If this is enabled, click the clear button and then you can try disabling this and see if that works. Make sure you save those changes. Number two here I just mentioned which is disabling that static CSS file generation. Number three is clear the cache from the WordPress plugins. This is dependent on if you have a caching plugin installed and set up. My website is hosted with SiteGround. So I have their SiteGround Optimizer plugin installed and you'll see an option up here called Purge SG Cache. This is how you can clear that cache. You may also have another plugin like W3 Total Cache and I pulled up an image here. In order to clear that you go to the Performance tab and click the Purge All Caches button. Then number four here is clear the browser cache. So I got the website open over here. And in order to clear the browser cache, you can either go into your browser settings, which you just want to look up how to do that with whatever browser you're using. I have Google Chrome open here. And we can do this just right from this page if I click the inspect button. That brings up the inspector window. I got it open in a new monitor here, but we don't need it. You just need that inspector window open. And if you hold the refresh button, you can click this option, empty cache and hard reload. And that will empty the browser cache. And just an FYI, I published a tutorial recently showing you how I converted this website from an old theme over to Divi. If you're still a beginner learning Divi, I highly recommend that you check that out. I'll link it up here in the top right. Let's go back to the steps here. And number five is clear the server cache if configured from your hosting provider. So this is going to completely depend on which host you have hosting your website. You should be able to go into their settings and see if they have any cache that they can clear. And if you don't see any options, it might be worth it to jump on a support chat with them and see if the customer service rep can do it for you. The next step here is what worked for me, and that was deleting the WP Content ET Cache folder. So you can either go into your host and see if they have a file manager built within the hosting platform, or what I like to do is get your FTP login information, and you can use an FTP client like FileZilla, which I have open here. That lets you log into your server and edit the files directly from the FTP client. The WordPress installation, you're going to see these folders, WP Admin, WP Content, WP Includes. If you'd like a further explanation on the WordPress server structure, the file structure and hierarchy behind WordPress, I'll link up a video where I go through that in the top right. We just need to go into the WP Content folder and this is where your themes and your plugins are. You can see the folders for each of them. But what we're looking at here is the ET cache folder. So you can just go ahead and right click and delete this folder and it's going to rebuild. But if the issue was some file serving from that folder, it should be cleared up. And the way that I figured out that it was a cache issue was that I was seeing an issue on the live website here. But then when I went into the appearance customize section, this is where you can test out settings with your theme. And the problem was completely fixed on this website. That led me to believe that the problem didn't have to do with the Divi Builder, but it was just a cache issue since I was seeing two different things on the customize page here and on the front end. You know, cache issues tend to be kind of frustrating. It's, it's always tough to tell whether it's a bug with the theme or your settings or whether it's a caching thing. But those steps should clear everything up for you. The last two options here are really a last resort. That's going into the Divi Support Center. So if I go back to my site here and under the Divi theme options here, we can go to the support center tab and if we scroll down here this is where you can either enable remote access that was the last step uh, number eight here that gives somebody at Divi the ability to go into your WordPress website and check things out from their perspective without you giving up your login information and the last thing here which was number seven on that Divi clear cache page is enable safe mode and what this does is disable all your plugins so sometimes an issue can be happening because of a plugin conflict 
It also disables your child theme. So if you have any custom code within that child theme functions.php, that might be an issue. And actually I had that with another website that I tried over here. There was a, a piece of code from child theme configurator that got added to my uh, functions.php file and that was causing an issue. And with that one, it was the exact opposite issue where on the live website, things looked fine. But then when I went over to the Divi Builder, some of the styles weren't appearing properly. So you can enable the safe mode to disable all the plugins at once. Or if you prefer, you can go into the plugin section, disable or deactivate them one by one. That should tell you exactly what plugin is causing the issue if it's one of the plugins. And if you deactivate all of them and it's still happening, then it's probably an issue with your child theme or some type of custom code. So that's all I got for this video. And like I mentioned, if you're new to Divi, I highly recommend them. They make building a website and designing it so easy compared to other themes that I've used. I'll include a link to Divi in the description below where you can learn more about their theme builder. If you're new to WordPress, I also got help for you there. Now, if you're a freelancer and you want to use Divi to build multiple websites for either yourself or for clients, I got a freebie that you can download, 15 tools to start your web design business, and Divi is included in that list. You can download that from my homepage, websiteprofitcourse.com. All of those links, once again, will be included in the description below. Last but not least, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. If you were having a caching issue, let me know in the comments below whether these steps cleared it for you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more WordPress tutorials and web design freelancing videos. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this entire video, and I hope you join me in the next one.